Hello everyone, this screencast is going to discuss the results from the SAMR model activity, uh, the ones where you looked at the five lessons and then came up with what you think, uh, where you think it fell on the SAMR model. And just a, a quick review already has shown me, you guys are all over the place. But the great news is, is that's okay. Uh, again, the purpose of the SAMR model is to try and get you to be thinking about um, deliberately thinking about how technology can be used in the classroom. So I'm going to snap on over to the form and before I do that I'm going to uh, get one of those quick thinking on your feet sort of things. View the image. I'm going to make it so you can see it while I'm talking about Oops, wrong thing there. Okay, I'll pull that back a little bit. All right, so so here is uh, topic one, the lesson one, the geometry unit, uh, where you do the semester review. Uh, you break it up uh, by unit and by topic, and you add vocabulary, and you add some screencasts and, and all that. So I see a range from augmentation to redefinition. Uh, looking at the uh, looking at the comments, I saw that uh, you know there's a good number of reasons for all of those. I think I think those who fell in the augmentation realm said, yeah, no, this is not necessarily a new idea, which it's not. But uh, I, I do believe it kind of pushes above that line because uh, the collaborative nature of Google Sites, so you can have multiple people working on it at the same time, um, and then also the screencasts. And I think that's why many of you put the definition, redefinition there as the screencast. So you're able to make a video, uh, kind of like I'm doing right now, explaining something uh, is, is pretty cool. So uh, that is that one. Oops. This is the, uh, so if you don't know about this particular view, in the spreadsheet or in the, the forms, I can go and do a summary of responses. And that gives me this nice little, this nice little spreadsheet of stuff, or nice little uh, some graphs there in Google Forms. Uh, topic number two is the impact of geography on the Roman Empire. Oops, forgot a need there. Uh, and where is that one? That's where they uh, were plotting, looking at Google Maps and looking at the geography and being able to plot, uh, you know, where, uh, you know, how the geography impacted uh, the empire's ability to maintain control. Uh, and ward off invaders and, and, and eventually lead, you know, some of that eventually leads to its decline. So again, I have augmentation through redefinition here as well. You know, here you have Google Maps. Again, you have the collaborative piece. Uh, and, and, you know, the, again, here's an, here's an assignment that as a social studies teacher, I did versions of this on paper where I'd make photocopies of, of maps and maybe I'd little, put a little post-it on my original. So when I photocopied, it'd have a little white box. But you can only write so much in that. Uh, and sometimes you're limited by your handwriting. So I had some kids who I know had, you know, trouble with hand-eye coordination, maybe some dyslexia, who wrote really big. And they could only write a little bit. And then I had some kids who could write microscopically, and they could write a whole bunch. So just by using that box, that physical space, I'm limiting some kids' ability to record information. And maybe the kids who need to record more information just from the beginning, they're limited by, by that, uh, the handwriting piece. Uh, and, and to be able to, you know, Google Maps is so great, you can be able to see the geography much better than out of a textbook map or something you could photocopy and that sort of thing. And again, also the collaborative, uh, the collaborative area and then the presentations, the collaborative presentations added to that. Uh, for me, that falls into the, the modification realm, uh, but I definitely see the argument free definition. Uh, and augmentation, you know, those are versions of projects that we've done in the past and, and we could... You know, there's funct there's functional improvement, uh, so I do see I do see the the whole range there. Okay, the next one is lit circle book movie poster, and most of you ended up in substitution and augmentation. Uh, you know, here is something that a type of project, and you could extend it to just about anything. I think there's these types of projects where make a one page poster, whether on big poster board or on a regular eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. Uh, is a common project uh, and sometimes you know sometimes it's with magazines but think of that magazines you know that 
that that limitation you have of a it's whatever's in the magazine and b whatever's left in the magazine uh, and whatever magazines the teacher is able to get donated and, and you have that limitation uh, whereas uh, with Google, with Google, you can you have the whole world. You have everything in the world that uh, um, you know, every image in the world of every place in the world that you can you can pull from. So for me, at the very least, it's augmentation uh, because you have that access to images. Plus, you have uh, you have a digital um, you have a, you can do a digital version. And, and this is you know, I I think I've brought it up before. Maybe I haven't with you guys, but uh, I. I my my sons, one is one of them super artistic, and the other is not. The other one's actually the one who's not artistic. Actually, see that, that I I went the, the wrong direction already. One is technically artistic. He can draw and paint and do all sorts of things like that. The other one does not have that same skill set. He has other skills. Uh, the other one who doesn't can't draw as well. Um, actually, sometimes shows a lot more creativity. Uh, and he can make a really nice looking poster in a Google drawing uh, as good as the one as the one who can also draw and paint because his version of creativity is a little bit a little bit different. He actually has a great eye for photography and takes lots of pictures and, and that sort of thing and that's maybe he gets that from me. So so this one this one is uh, uh, you know for me falls into augmentation but but I definitely see substitution. Uh, as well, and, and redefinition, it would depend upon what was there. Modification, maybe that all that access and the, how how much better the tools are, um, can you could perhaps make that argument as well. So at this point, you're going, wow, Dan, you're pretty much saying all our answers are right. Well, sort of, okay, because it's all it's some of its context, some of it is your skill level. Uh, I've been publishing student work on the internet for you know actually. Since my second, actually, since I was student teaching, the first time I did that. So, 1995, I published student work on, on the internet when the internet was was uh, unrecognizable compared to what it is today. Um, so, for me, publishing work on the internet is not that big of a deal. I'd probably put that as augmentation modification. But for some of you, that's that's redefinition. That changes everything you've been able to do. So, part of it is our own experiences, our own context, our subject areas. So, so the purpose of the SAMR model is to not put everything in nice, clean buckets and separate them from one another. It's to deliberately think about how we're using the technology. You know, and even though this one, uh, the Lit Circle Movie Poster Project, falls into the, um, the augmentation, and again, see the argument for substitution, it's not bad. It's a great project still because it involves critical thinking and involves some creativity and involves uh, representing ideas in, in a different way than just words. You know, don't we have to still teach the words obviously, but it's, it's bigger than that. Okay, gonna keep going. Outdoor observations. So here is the, uh, the bio one uh, and a lot of substitution augmentation with that one. And I would say that one's pretty, pretty right on. There's, I've talked to a lot of science teachers and, and they say this is something we've been doing forever. And, and some, some will argue it is augmentation because uh, the spreadsheet, uh, the, the, the graphing feature in spreadsheets give it that functional improvement. Otherwise, people are graphing by hand. However, some people say, well, they should graph by hand. You know, and, and so maybe, and maybe that's right. Maybe they should graph by hand first and then do the digital representation. So they kind of have a foot in, in all, you know, both, both worlds, an analog and a digital world. Uh, but this one, this one uh, definitely can take advantage of Google Forms. It can take advantage of uh, um, it can take advantage of the graphing tools, those types of things. The last one is substitution versus uh, well, obviously not substitution, uh, redefinition. So redefinition is it really I, I I believe this one is redefinition because uh, here and, and it, it's it'll be more clear clearly definition redefinition as I tell you the whole project. So all the first four were ones that I've seen done in my district. This last one, or I did, or uh, I've seen done. This last one actually is, is one that I've, uh, I talked to a principal who described it to me from a, a school in Northern California uh, at a conference I was at a couple years ago. And basically his Spanish teacher for his second and third year students teamed up with a English teacher in Guadalajara, Mexico at a Mexican school. So not an international school or anything like that, but these were students who spoke, you know, Spanish in their daily lives uh, and not, and they were learning English just like many of our students are learning Spanish, but still speak English in their daily lives. 
Uh, and so what they did is every other week or so, they connected for at least a half hour. Uh, these two classes, you know, actually it was four classes, I believe. Uh, and, those, and those students would spend 15 minutes talking in English and then 15 minutes talking in Spanish. And they would go back and forth and, and, and you know, share their experiences. They'd be given topics to talk about. And what happened over time is they became friends with these people, uh, with these kids from another country who, when they looked over their shoulder and out the window, they saw something different. Uh, certainly, you might be able to get people who spoke different languages together, uh, you know, at the same school. You know, some, some schools have big EL populations and, and that. But it's different when we're talking about across... Um, you know, across across borders, and and you know, a thousand, couple thousand miles away, uh, and be able to develop that relationship. I did have one teacher once who who kind of challenged me and said, you know what, I did this when I was in in high school, uh, an older guy, and and he, I'm like, oh, cool. What, what do you what do you mean? And I'm I'm envisioning phone calls or something like that. Uh, and then he says, well, when I was in taking German in like my second or third year of German, uh, the teacher brought in a bunch of Germans. And I'm like, that's super cool. Okay, so I asked the follow-up question. I'm like, okay, uh, how many times did it happen? It was just the one time. And then my next follow-up question was, um, uh, how old were they? Because all of a sudden my mind was spinning going, yeah, these people, uh, you know, 40, 40 Germans available at 9 o'clock in the morning are probably not their peer group. Uh, and end up they were retired, you know, and they all also mostly spoke fluent English. Uh, so, so it was, uh, there was no learning from the other way. Okay. Cause, cause that's another piece of this is both sides are learning. So you're learning from each other as well as trying to, uh, you know, learn yourself and, uh, and, 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 you know, well, that was a great experience and I won't, I won't dismiss that as a positive experience and, and perhaps it's a good experience for them to have talked to someone older. I, th I think, I think this experience in described in the, the Spanish, uh, uh, example here kind of goes kind of goes well beyond that and, and is redefinition that's blowing the roof off of what you can do and, and that's done through Google Hangouts you can do it through Skype uh, there's lots of different tools for that okay so that is the uh, basics for the SAMR model review you're going to move on to the next part of the uh, lesson design activity from here but uh, good luck and if you have any questions make sure to email me just remember um, these aren't clear categories they're not black and white. There's some subjectivity to them, and that's the design of it. And uh, the important part is that you're deliberately and you're thoughtfully thinking how you're using the technology, and you're trying to go beyond what you can just do on paper. Okay. And as you're developing your project ideas, if you want to throw some ideas out to me uh, about that, make sure you do that. All right. Thanks, everyone.